Hi everyone. I hope you enjoyed our last session on Pardot emails and segmentation list. Today we will learn about Pardot automations. So we will learn how we can run the automation in Pardot, how we can create the drip campaigns, what are the different types of action we can apply on automation actions. So let's begin. So I'll quickly share my screen. So this is the Pardot dashboard. So let's go to Pardot automation. So this is the Pardot automation part. Pardot automation consists of four parts. That is engagement studios, automation rules, page actions, and segmentation list. So these are the four parts of the automations. Let's come to the Pardot automation rules. So we will first talk about the Pardot automation rules. Okay, Pardot automation rules also have two parts. First is the rules and then is the actions. So let's give it a name. Pardot automation. Okay, let's get the folder. Demo. Choose the one. Then if we want to repeat the rule after how many days if we want it. So let's say this rule should be eligible. Let's give it two. And how many entries it can match. We can limit it to unlimited entries as well. And we can also constrain it to one, two or three entries. So we can define according to our choice. Then comes the rules and actions. The rules you define will segment the prospects to which these rules will be applied. These rules can be on the basis of prospects activity, information that is in the system or through any interaction or any other information on the basis of their country, their email ID, their first name, their last name, anything. So let me show you how we can create the rule. So let's say prospect default field. Email contains portlio.com okay so it will collect all the prospects email contains portlio.com then i'll again add another rule let's say prospect default score is greater than 10 now who will come to my this automation rule whose email id contains portlio.com and whose prospect score is more than 10 so all the prospects who have these two conditions will come to my this automation rule. Now what actions will do? Whosoever is coming to this automation rule, these actions will be applied to those prospects. These prospects can be added to any list. We can add them to CRM campaign. We can apply certain tags. We can assign to these prospects to certain users. We can create Salesforce tags. We can mask, mark them as reviewed. We can apply profile criteria. So there are multiple actions that can be assigned to these prospects. So this is your automation rule. You can segment the audience and then you can apply certain actions on those audience. Let me just show you. Now I will apply the action as notify user is Vishali. So this is an automation rule that I have created. Let's give it a name. 20th February. OK, create automation rule. So once your automation rule is created, what will happen? It will be created in an inactive form. So you have to resume this automation first. So before resuming, you can also preview the matches. So how many prospects are fulfilling this particular criteria? You can preview that. So here is the button for preview matches. When you click on preview matches, this will start creating the previous. All the prospects who are fulfilling this criteria will come under here. And then you can also check and verify if this is working right or not. And accordingly, you can resume your actions. So this is your automation rules. You can apply any criteria of your choice. You can add the actions to it through automation rules. These are very simple rules that anybody can like create. Okay, so you can see this has started generating the previous. As soon as it turns 100%, you will also get an email 
that this automation rule preview has been completed. These many are the prospect that has matched to your criteria. Everything you will get on your email as well. Now, the second part is the segmentation list. As discussed earlier, there are two types of lists. First is dynamic list, then the second one is static list. Dynamic list we have already discussed in our last session. Today we will talk more about the static list. So while creating the segmentation list, let me create one part or static. Let's give it a name. Okay, so while creating the segmentation list, what you can do is you can also add the folder. Now, there are certain options available. You can create an email test list. So whenever you are sending out any email campaign, you can use this email test list to test your emails. You can get the complete preview of the email that is being sent to your prospect. So you can have the complete preview like that only. So using the email test list, you can test your emails. Then is the dynamic list. If you'll tick on this option, you can apply the rules to your list. Then there is public list. What are public list? So public lists are for the prospect's preferences. Prospect can opt in or opt out through marketing communications via public list. So these public lists are visible to your audience as, as well. So whenever you are filling up any form, you are unsubscribing from the email or you want to change your preferences, you can have your public list ready and you can also send out this to your audience. So accordingly, they can choose their preferences. They can opt in for your newsletters. They can opt in for your festive emails from these public lists. They can easily decide which type of communication they want from you. And the last one is your CRM visible list. What are CRM visible lists? So as we all know that Pardot can be easily integrated with your sales cloud also. So when you will create a CRM visible list, the Pardot list will start. When you will create a CRM visible list, this particular Pardot list would also be available in your sales cloud. What will happen? Now, when this list is available in your sales cloud, any of your sales cloud user can easily add the leads slash contacts to the CRM visible list and accordingly you can run your drip campaigns in Pardot. So they do not need to come to Pardot prospect to the, this particular list. They can use this list in the CRM in their sales cloud and accordingly they can add the contacts and leads from there only. These are the lists in Pardot. So static and dynamic. In static, you can have your email list. You can have your public list and you can also have your CRM visible list. Now. Now comes the most interesting part of the Pardot automation, the engagement studios. Pardot engagement studios allows you to create the drip campaigns, journeys or flows for your prospects. Let's click on Pardot engagement studio. Add an engagement program. You can send a series of emails to prospects, apply actions on them, score them through a single journey. You do not need to create a separate automation rule, separate dynamic list, separate actions or anything. You can create an engagement studio program. So let's give it a name. Trip campaign. Now, again, the folder, what folder you want it into. I will put it into my demo folder. Any description you want. This is for the demo. Then the recipient is to which particular list you want to perform this drip campaign. Either you want on your Jitset January event, on your internal communications list, or you want it for your customers you can select your target list accordingly. So all the lists that are present in your Pardot would be available here. You can choose and you can start the engagement program. Now, I'll select Codeliance. Codeleo.
okay now the separation list so what are separation list let's say i do not want to send my emailers or i do not want my drip campaign to be applied on certain prospects those prospects can be added to my separation list so let's say i want to run my email campaign or code your employee list and i do not want this email campaign or this particular drip campaign to be performed on this particular data i can select that in separation list so let's say in my drip campaign there are 10 prospects and out of those 10 prospects two are among the separation list so on those two prospects this particular drip campaign will not be applied only eight prospects will enter in my drip campaign and will follow my journey now next thing i can select the business hours yes i can send the emails only on the business hours on the business days i can omit certain list let's say i do not want to send the email on tuesday i can do that So these can be added in your okay so if i do not want to send the emails on tuesday i can deselect tuesday and all the other business sales would be selected emails would be sent on those sales only then I can also decide the start date and the end date. And I can also select the time zone on which time zone I want to start this particular drip campaign. Okay. Then if I want my prospects to enter this particular drip campaign again, I can also check box there. Now eligibility to re-enter the days and how many re-entries I want, I can select anything. Click on save. Okay. Now my target audience is selected. My suppression list is selected. What comes next? So in drip campaigns, there are three parts, actions, triggers, and rules. Actions, do something. Triggers, listen for an event. Rule, evaluate a statement. So let's say what I want. I want to send the email first. So whosoever is entering email, I want, me, I want to send the email. Okay. Yes. On correct communication. This is the email I want to send. Any wait period I want, or I want to send it immediately. These are the number of days. So after two days, whosoever is entering in my drip campaign, this can also be done. So or if I want to send this particular email on a certain date, this can also be done. So I can select it, let's say 21st, save. Now what I want, I want a trigger. If person has opened the email, I want, after two days, I want to check if a person has opened the email or not, save. If person has opened the email, again, what I want to do is add that person to a list. Immediately, yes. To which list to my test list so if the person has not opened the email what i want i again want to check if that person is in this particular list or not if it is not in this particular list, then what should happen? Then again, send an email. So by this, you can easily create a journey in your engagement studios. So this is how you can create the journey and you can send the emails you can apply certain actions you can also add assign the users to save so these are the actions available so there are multiple actions available
Let's see, assign the users. Add them to a CRM campaign. This is also available. Then again, if you want to evaluate a rule, so there can be hundred steps you can add in your engagement program and you can add number of emails and in a single go you can start the journey and you can start your trip campaign so the last part of your uh, automation is your page actions what are page actions? Page actions are the actions that are triggered when a prospect views a page. They are triggered upon your page views only. So let's say I am visiting Coolio.com for the first time. I have filled up a form. My cookies are generated. My cookies are captured in Pardot. Now, whenever I will come to Coolio.com again, a page action will be triggered and accordingly I can take the actions either I want to send that particular prospect an email if I want to notify the sales rep anything I can do let's say add a page action what is the page name yes What is the URL? www.podlio.com. What is the page code? Any category if I want it. Is this a priority page? Yes, I have to add the HTTPS page. Podlio.com. Now, what are the actions I want to add? There are certain actions. So on my page views, these actions can be applied. The buying signals of the prospect. A prospect is coming again and again to your website. What you can do? Now you can check and email that particular prospect. Hey, you are interested in our product. You have visited our website or you have visited our product page. So is there anything we can help you with this? So you can set up the automations like this through page actions only. Let's say. Let me show you an example. So this is one of our page. So now you can see this particular prospect has visited my website on these many days. So now I can identify that this prospect has viewed on this particular date this page on this particular date on this particular day i can identify this particular person or prospect is interested in my consulting services that is why it is coming again and again on my website so by this you can easily identify whosoever prospect is interested on your product for which product it is interested and all the views you can capture so this is the main functionality of your page actions i hope you enjoyed this session also if there is anything you can drop down a comment and we'll meet you in next session. Thank you.